Hey there, viewbots. This is Cy Rockham again. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Last time we took a walk around town and we paid a whole lot of money for uh, this sword. Which, damage wise, it's pretty solid. Like, um, it's good against beasts and is natural resistance. This might not be the. Uh, let me see here. So, right now, with this sword that I have equipped, the family sword, I'd be doing. 8.7 and but I'd be a lot more likely to hit the damage on the green blade is a good bit higher requires 19 strength which I believe I have mm. what's Alistair's weapon compared to the green blade I forget he is more about uh, the, his sword actually does more damage Asturian's might weakens darkspawn but this, the green blade, is much better against beasts, which I don't think we're actually going to be fighting for a little bit. So, I mean, I I'm thinking... Wow, Alistair, Cracked Skull. Is there somewhere that I could rest? Okay, I've got that. Strength, Dexterity, Attack. That's pretty good. Um... Yeah, okay, how... Uh, 38... What's my strength right now? 32. So I still got a couple levels to go. That only lowers his cunning, so that's actually not a big deal at all for Halster. He's not very cunning, I suppose. Uh, so I think I'll just... I'll equip the green blade, because I freaking bought it. Why not? Um, might as well use it for at least a little bit. I might not use it this whole time, depends on how frequently I attack. But now we're gonna head through the windmill and head into the castle to help out Van Tegan. Down this poorly covered secret passage. Coming. This less than secret passage, I suppose. And I changed up the settings on Fraps, so hopefully it won't be laggy. We'll see. It was some Swedish dude that's, that uh, had a video on YouTube. So I don't know if you can trust the squeeds. I forget. What what percent of, percentage Swedish am I? I forget. I shouldn't have bothered asking you. You wouldn't know. Unless you're my mom. If you are, hi mom, you're watching one of my videos. Which seems unusual to me. Ah, uh, it uh, seems a little laggy. Uh, well, oh, um, kind of laggy. Alright, let's head on in. Okay. Yeah, this looks, this still looks... Rather laggy. Oh, hey there, Liliana. You're having fun. Um, what sorts? What weapons does she have, for that matter? She's got Olaf's prized cheese knife. Yeah, that's right. And an enchanted dagger. Uh, they're daggers. One, yeah, daggers. Um, and her cunning is lowered, which is a little bit of a problem. But let me see here. Alright, let's just switch back to me and start fighting these enraged corpses. Alright, hey, uh, hey Morgan. Be a deer. Throw down a an ice there. Alright. Turn down the volume a little bit. Alright, I think... My attack is pretty solid. Like, I'm pretty... I don't see them. I don't think I miss very often. I'm doing. So I do more damage. Alright, yeah, three guys, not a problem. Hello? Who's there? Is there anyone alive out there? Oh, you're covered in blood. Wait, you don't look like the Arlesser's guards. Are you from outside the castle? Hmm. Are you the mage Lady is old? Is old? Mentioned? You've spoken to her? Then you know what I did. She said you poisoned the Arl. I'm not proud of my deed. Poisoning Arl Eamon was what I was hired to do. Lady Isold had no idea when she took me in to tutor her son, of course. Hmm. What about the walking corpses? I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. 
I thought she meant my poisoning of the arm. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So they left me to rot. Why did you poison Arl Eamon? I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. Mm. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelden. That if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. You see, I'm a Malifica. A blood mage. You? A blood mage? Truly? I would never have guessed. A blood mage? Well, that isn't good. I dabbled in the Forbidden Arts, and they condemned me to death for it. I thought Loghain was giving me a chance to redeem myself. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's yep. fallen apart, and I'm responsible! I have to make it right somehow. I have to! Hmm. But why did the Arlesa need a mage to tutor her son? Connor had started to show... signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the circle of magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. Perhaps her son is responsible for what happened. I thought that too. Connor has little knowledge of magic, but he may have done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. Uh, we already know that one. Actually, uh, not exactly. Why would Isolde be frightened of her son becoming a mage? Because he would be taken away forever. A mage cannot inherit a title, yeah. even the son of a powerful Arl. We didn't know that before. She's also a pious woman. Her son having magic was humiliating. Arl Eamon had no idea of his son's abilities? No, she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son, and that infuriated her. How much magic did you teach Connor? Some. But he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. Like I said, he may have torn the veil accidentally. If he's involved in this at all, I really don't know. I see. I think I understand. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. I say this boy could still be of use to us, but if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks, or the Templar? I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? Like yourself, you mean? Everyone deserves a chance to redeem themselves in the Maker's eyes. This man, no less than any. I don't know. He is a blood mage. But this is an unusual situation. Give me a chance, please. Hmm. So how will you make things right? I... well, I tried to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. Hmm. Isn't it a, a little late for that? I don't think it will redeem me, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't try. And after that, what happens? Afterwards, I assume I'll be arrested, or executed, or whatever people like me get. I'm tired of running from the circle. I need to account for what I've done. That's commendable if it's true. I'm glad you think so. So what now? Hmm. I think you'll stay on yourself for now. And I will wait. If you change your mind, I will be here. Yeah, I'll just leave him here, and then after we get everything settled, then we'll see yes. about what we should do with him. Hmm. 
Huh. Alright, anything interesting in these cells? Going. Mm hmm. Um, nothing in that one. It's nice that they're all all unlocked for me. No, it's it seems I don't know if the lag seems better or not. It was a little bit when we entered, but huh. huh. But I don't know. Let's see here. We got that health poultice. That's good. I should really stop saying that's good because it's freaking obvious. Hmm. Memory serves. Hmm. All right, let's see here. Up here, nothing over there. There we are. Figured. Everybody focus on one guy, and then we'll circle around and hit these fools. Okay, I'm probably gonna need to turn down the combat volume. They're just punching at me, so not even a problem. Yeah, Alistair took out that one guy almost by himself, and his head's gone. Yeah, these guys are nothing. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I don't think I'm missing my attacks, so I think this sword would be better for the moment. Huh. Corpse. Ooh, six silver. That's getting us a little bit of the way yes. closer to what we lost in our purchase. Hmm. All right. Uh, yeah, that's right. And nothing else over here. So onward and upward. Maybe this that little lag was in the game as opposed to being caused by fraps. Saving. Alright, we'll just need to see. Once we get something that maybe a little bit more intensive. Yeah, let's go take out this look at the smaller rooms first. Oh hey. Now everybody wait here for them. And there we go. Focus. Everybody focus on this guy, and then we can take out more of them. How about this guy? Fancy kill, and take out this little scrub. And another fancy kill. All right, actually, let's look at the main menu and some sound options. Sound effect volume. Um, music volume, turn that down to 8, that down to... Alright, that should be fine. Dialogue, we want to keep the same volume. Shambling Corpse. It's c the combat just sounds a lot louder, and I don't want it being picked up by the mic. Yes. Me. I, could do that for you. I hope so. No, you don't. Oh, <laughs> huh. uh, and you have... Yeah. Hopefully you'd be able to do that once maybe the skill increases. I don't know. Right, this room doesn't look like it's attached to anything, so I'll go into here. Oh, hey there. Greater shade. Uh, we've already saw, fought some shades before, so this isn't new. I got the smaller ones first. Alright, but we are going to need to probably use some of our skills, so we've uh, it's been a while since I've used these, so... Alright, I've got it organized. So two and three... Right, one, two, and three are all good attacks that we could use. Alright, got that one. How about a little shield bash for you? Alright. So you got the smaller ones first. Yeah, just keep focusing on these guys. On this one bigger guy. Somewhat greater. Alright, they didn't drop anything. A book! Oh, I was kind of running in place there for a second. History of the Chantry. 
All right. Uh, hold on. Let me. I'm gonna turn. Turn this up to nine. Back up to nine. Uh, actually, no. Uh, we want that one could be eight. This one can be nine. All right. Um. Okay. Back into the hallway. Hey there. Ah, that's the pittance. All oh, these poor little shambling corpses. They're just small groups, not really doing anything. Having fun there, Alistair? Alright. They don't even have weapons. I guess they spent all the really good warriors attacking the village, I don't know. Alright, that was a that was a little bit of lag. Some shaman corpse three silver. Okay. I'll look around here real quick and then I'll level Morgan. Alright. So how about for you what does cunning do again? The most skills herbalism combat tactics uh, not ah oh, well you're kind of running out of room so maybe combat tactics wouldn't be too bad let me take a look at what you could get hmm now what my question really is what do I want to do mage wise because as you can really see here we've got primal creation spirit entropy that uh, Morgan doesn't have any creation but we as I plan it it's probably going to be next that we you know, that we're gonna get someone that will be plenty towards creation and should we use her or should we use Morgan actually I think really thinking about it we should probably use the other mage because um, because Morgan is gonna be pissed at every single decision I make so hmm but uh, and so she can kind of focus on creation a little bit and then she wouldn't then this other mage wouldn't need to worry about entropy magic, which is one that I'm probably wouldn't that I probably wouldn't use too much as Morrigan. Because I really like primal, because primal is very good for just straight damage. Versus spirit, which is like spirit and entropy do a lot of different things. I think this is a lot of buffer buffing. Creation is more healing, kinda. I don't know. I haven't really gone down these, and I don't want to waste too much time doing that. So how about just what could we use? We've been using... Have we been uh, equipped with frost weapons? Shock. This is... Caster hands erupts with a cone of lightning. Hmm. That could be useful. A little cone of cold. Stone fist. Stone projectile that knocks down a target. Hmm. Oh, that's really good for weakening people. So how about... We'll see if I could just avoid creation for her at the, like, period. So the caster hands rush with a cone of lightning. So we've got lightning. We already have a lightning attack. We've got a couple single targeting lightning attacks. Maybe we'll go with fire right now. This seems like a place where fire would be useful at this moment. Oh wait, no, that's right, I forgot to give her points. So how about... Dex is just to hit with a lot of things, I think. So maybe just, uh... Maybe I'll give her one in the con for health. How about... What does Cunning do? I think... Hmm... Strength is completely useless for her. Dexterity. Let's put uh, one more in the willpower and. It's a higher dex and produce character's chance to hit. Makes the character more likely to dodge. You know what? I'll put one in the dex. Alright, yeah, and I think she got a tactics. Uh, tactics. I don't really use that that much. I probably should, but. 
Oh, I hear doggies. Going. Huh. Oh my. Hey there. Morgan. We've got... How about... Hmm. That looks pretty nice. And... Get out of the way. Get out of the way, me. And, uh, yeah, use that. So, no, there. There. So be it. Oh, that looks nice. Very good. Now, actually, and you should use... I should probably order these a little bit better. That one will go over there. And, uh, the buffing ones... A mind Blast would be good right now. Let's move you to right there. You to there, there, and there. Alright, I like that. Flame weapons. Oh yeah, that was good. That was some solid damage. Oh, that guy actually has a weapon. I'm, I'm surprised. Good job, that guy. Uh, more guys are coming. Uh, let's focus on the little guy right here. Enraged corpse. He's not a very calm corpse. Devouring corpse. Ooh, scary. He's, I know, you know he's scary because his name is in yellow. Get wrecked. Oh, uh, come on, just get, get at him. Yep. We're losing very little health here. Can I even reach him? <laughs> I don't really think it matters. Alright, there we go. Alright. Very nice. Corpse Gall. Ooh. Wait, is that, um... Yeah, I think that's one of the things that we want for one of those quests. Yeah, some more of that Corpse Gall. We've been looking at every corpse so far, so we haven't actually missed any. There we are, another health potion. And more corpse gall. And, um, okay, that's kind of a one-time sort of thing. One-time thing! One time, like, hey, come fight me, guys. Okay, we're in, still in combat because there's another guy down here that we have aggro. Hey, you. Come over here. Come over here. And I'm off. Bash. Hey, are you guys coming or yeah. he's come he's just gonna stand there? Everybody attack him. Oh Alright, we're being so sneaky though, aren't we? I hope there's no chance that anyone, any sort of demon is gonna know that we are in here. Um, you should come a little closer, Morgan. Can I use my fire attack and not kill any of my friends? Apparently not. Not the best placement. Um, let's just keep working on this guy. Alright, now that he's dead, now this one. Yeah. Get four people to attack one guy and he'll be over quick. Alright. More of that corpse skull. Oh, that's the good stuff. We're gonna be getting plenty of fat loots from those corpse skulls. I got a feeling. Okay, so I just kind of instinctively always press spacebar for no reason. Um, all right, nothing in there. Let's see what's over here. Okay, there's another one. That lyrium, that tasty magic stuff. Oh, hey there. Oh, Abaris, that's sad. We're gonna have to kill these guys. Oh, well. They think that we're the enemy. So, we're gonna have to treat them like it. Die, puppies. Die on fire. Get this guy first. Actually, it looks like Morgan is in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, she is in a lot of trouble. Go over to that Mind Blast. Okay, they're all stunned. You need to run away. Do something. <laughs> Do something. I'm dying horribly. Keep on fighting this one. 
Alright. So sad that the Mavaris must die. Maybe they've been tainted by the dark zombies or whatever we're fighting. Yeah, that was a little bit of a precarious situation I put Morgan in. Black leather collar. Oh yeah. I hope this uh, this item can't be equipped to this character. Maybe I need some special role-playing thing to be into really kinky stuff. And then I could put it on. How much you want to bet there's a mod for that? Yes. Someone find me that mod. Ooh, wow. Some neat stuff. My doggy would like this. If I ever use the doggy again. Charred corpse. And an iron ring for selling. An iron ring of salubility. So, salubility. Is that like dissolvable? I forget. It's salubable in water. S saleable. Something. Whatever. Okay, yeah, that was totally worth it. That fi killing some dogs for an iron ring. Totally worth it. Is that What's the point of wearing an iron ring? It's like... Hey, look how money I am. <laughs> look at me. I'm such money. I've got an iron ring. Oh, hey there. That's not a trap at all, is it? Yes. No. Uh, disarm tripwire. Hooray! I know I brought you along for a reason. All right. That deep mushroom. He's got some good poetry. Deep. All right, and I wonder what that uh, would have been. Is there anything that was gonna kill me over here? I don't know. That looks like the way to progress. In here, green stone. Okay then. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And I'm off. Oh, hey there. Calm yourself. Stupid girl, get out of my way. Calm down, I'm not here to hurt you. I... I'm sorry. I'm so frightened. These monsters are everywhere. My... My name's Valena. The Arlesa's maid. I, is she... All right. What happened to everyone? I was hoping to ask you the same question. I don't know what happened. There was some talk the all was poisoned, but that he wasn't just sick. They arrested someone for it, but then everything went mad. People started killing each other, and then their bodies would get up and walk. They didn't attack us right away, unless you tried running. I, I waited until everyone else was gone. I couldn't stand it anymore. Are you Owen's daughter? You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? There is a tunnel leading to the dungeon. But, but the monsters! I've killed most of them. It's safe. I'll find my way. I can run fast and I know the castle. Thank you. Yep, there we go. Aha! Eliana and Alistair approve. Got that mission updated. Alright, cool. So that's all but finished. So now... Anything else around here? Yeah, I think there's just this... The rest of this main floor. Have a look around. Let me see this map. Alright, there are a couple places to go. The cellar... Wait, are there two ways to the cellar? Oh, no. We haven't been in the cellar. That's... Courtyard, second floor. We have not been to the cellar yet. I don't think that's the way to progress. So uh, let's go that way, I suppose. Uh, we've got the courtyard, second floor, I think. Oh wow, a couple guys here. We're probably going to just finish up this quarter of the castle. And then we will... And then we'll call this an episode. We're coming up on half an hour now. Alright, now you. 
And Leliana leveled. Excellent. Wow, uh, Alistair's taking a little bit of damage. Uh, let's give a taunt right now. Oh, uh, Alistair? Get back, get back. Yeah, we don't want you getting any more hurt than you have to be. So, alright. Now, Alistair, stay back, or it doesn't really matter. He's dead. Excellent. I'm going to take a nap. Yeah, a nap would probably be a good idea for you. I forget. Uh, yeah, we do regen. That's right. Forgot about that. Get some of that. Get some of that. And... Uh, Alright, there's a little bit of a passageway to get to the cellar. I think the cellar would be a good place to explore. And nothing too important in there. But we'll do that uh, quest update. You have found nine samples of the corpse skull for the chantry. Return them to the chanter's board or gather a total of 18 for an additional reward. We will do that. We will find plenty, I am sure. Let's just head through here, see if there's anything in here. Have a little bit more of a fight? No? Alright, yeah, the cellar sounds like a good idea. Flawed lightning crystal. That'll be good for shale. Mm -mm. Anything over here? Wooden crate. Blank vellum, whatever that's for, I forget. I think it's just sellable. Sellubil salubility. But whatever, it looks like that is a good enough place to leave off for now. Next time, we'll check out the cellar. But thank you guys very. Uh, actually, no. Let's, 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 let's level her. How about, uh, what does cunning do? Class abilities, special attacks, rely on salty. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll make that a nice even 20, put one in the con, and one more in the dex. Let's see here, and next up, expert stealing. I don't actually use you for stealing, really. Almost never notice the thief until it's too late. Never know when that could be useful. Uh, don't really use, don't really use trap making either. Poison... I forget, is poison might not be too bad, but um hmm. Gain small bonus armor and attacks. You know what? We'll go with that. Now what else would you like? You okay, that needs twenty two cunning. What is what could I get twenty two right now? I could get twenty two. It's gonna go ham. It's gonna splurge over there. So that she can get her the ability that I want her to have. Actually, no. I, oh, it needs to be level twelve. Herp derp. A level. A level are you? Ten. All right. So yeah, put the one, one, one. All right, and then again there. I don't know if there's any instances in which I'd want to steal anything. Need to wait for a couple more levels to get that. Maybe there is a key that will open that up, because there's no way that I could be at that level right now. Unless I could come back to this place. A oh, dual weapon. Yeah, I should probably have you do that, since I'm having you been doing that dual weapon training and stuff. A weapon can become more proficient with two weapons? Yeah, let's do a, a passive one, so... There we are! So, thank you guys very much for joining me. Rock over London, rock on Chicago. I'm Cy Rock Omega, and have a nice day. Later.